Hi budget babes, it's Julia Creations and today I'm back with another video. So this video isn't going to be as long as my normal videos you guys because we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. As you can see I have my calendar book. Um, we're going to be talking about credit cards today. So I had a lot of budget babes saying that they don't um, know when their statement date closes versus when their um, minimum date is and all of that stuff. So I'm going to be using a real life example and we are going to go over it and we're going to help you boost those that credit score. Because if you're not paying your credit card off and knowing these dates, it's going to mess up your credit score. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it using our calendar book today. So I'm going to be using an actual example example as well i'm just gonna go back to the back of this calendar book so i can still use it um to model what the calendar books look like without having to open a lot so we're gonna go ahead and start with the mark the month of march sorry you guys i cannot speak today so march started on a first here so we're gonna go through and write down all our days in our calendar and the planner if you have my full planner the planner does this as well so um you just fill in your calendar book or your calendar portion of your planner. I have the calendar book just on the side. I released these as limited edition for my budget babes who had the first version of the planner I dropped. And then this is um, just calendar books unless you guys just want to get them on the side, use them for appointments or whatever the case is. I'm going to be using this today. So sorry you guys I said a whole lot of stuff but a whole lot of nothing at the same time. <laughs> but you know what I mean here. So we're going to go through and write this in. I did post this example on TikTok, but I also wanted to post it for the YT family, so you guys will always have a video to refer to. Alright you guys, so once we have our calendar book filled in, we're going to go ahead and write in our bills and due dates. I'm just going to go ahead and write my bills in. Everything that you want to list in here is attached in the um, this section right here. So I'm just going to do this. Um, I already do this when I do my full budget, but I'm going to show you guys examples of what we're going to do. And I'm just going to write in some of my bills and make up some paydays. Since I am um, a business owner, I'm not paid weekly or bi-weekly. I'm kind of paid daily. It just depends when payout is for me. So what I'm going to do is just write paydays in here and bills, and then we're going to write our credit cards. So on the first, I have my rent coming through, and let's just say this is also payday for me. I'm going to say payday as well. I'm just going to do a bi-weekly check here, and then also payday. Then I have my gym membership that comes out this day. And then I also have, um, let's see, my gym membership, and I also have my electric that comes out on the 6th. And I also have credit card number one coming through on this day as well. And then let's see what else here. I have credit card number two due this day. And then um, I'm just going to say some of my subscriptions come out this day. And then I also have my phone plus Wi-Fi bill this day. Um, website fees. For my business and then I also have my car insurance coming out this day okay so we are going to start with credit card number one so guys credit card number one minimum due date is the six this is our minimum due date for credit card number one so on our bank account we know we have to pay our credit card minimum on the six our statement for credit card number one also closes this day. So I'm going to highlight this just to show you guys for a reference. So we have credit card number one all the way to when my credit card number two basically comes out. So we're just going to cross this off to the 11th. So our goal every single month is we want to pay off this credit card in full by the minimum day credit card minimum one is due on the six so between these days we want to make no transactions this is when our statement closes so if you want to build your credit score you guys 
We know our minimum is due on the 6th. We want to try to pay off our minimum in full by the 6th. We know our statement closes on the 12th, so we don't want to make any transactions until the 13th. Why? Because on the 12th, when our statement closes, this gets reported to the credit brewers. So what the problem is, a lot of you guys are paying your minimum balance or you may pay off your card and you're making transactions between these days and you're leaving a balance when your statement closes. The statement closing is the most important day because this is the day it gets reported to our credit brewers. So let's say you're not able to pay off your credit card in full by the minimum date. We want to make sure we get this paid off in full by the 11th. If we can't pay this off um, on the minimum date, let's say our payday was actually the 8th. So let's say we got paid today. We want to try to pay this off in full by the statement date so we don't have a balance. Here's what happens. If you have anything left on your card when the statement closes, that is what's going to be charged interest. That's why you're paying interest on your credit cards because you aren't completing this by the statement date. Let's say you don't have enough money to close out your credit card, which happens, or you're just paying the minimum balance. You want to make sure that your credit card is under 10% of the credit limit when it does get reported to the credit brewer. That shows that you are not relying on credit, um, your credit card like that. It's just you're using your credit, you're paying it off. At least 10% is good utilization. And I also attached it some images so you guys can see the statement date, the closing date, and where to find that on your bank account. So once again, guys, we want to pay off. We want to pay our minimum. If we can't pay our full credit card off on the 6th, we want to have it paid off by the 12th here because this is when it gets reported to the credit brewers. If we can't pay it off by the 12th, we want to make sure that this limit or the limit is under 10% or the balance is under 10% of the credit card's limit. So let's go to credit card number two. Credit card number two, the minimum is due on the 2nd but the statement is going to close on the 18th. So let's go ahead and highlight this one. I'm gonna try to use a different color here so you guys can um, see the difference. So we have credit card number two that comes out this day and this statement goes until the 18th. So this statement closes on the 18th. Credit card number two, statement date. We're just gonna put SD, statement date. So we wanna do the same process. After, um, oh, for the first card, guys, you could use that card again on the 13th. So we could start using credit card number one again on the 13th all the way until the 6th of April. Then pay our minimum and repeat the cycle again. So now we're at the 12th with credit card number two. This is when our minimum payment is due. So we know we need to pay the minimum or pay it off in full before the 18th because this is when our statement date closes. Once the statement closes, we can start using the card again on the 19th. So hopefully this makes sense, you guys. Um, and then if you have more credit cards, you want to be writing all these dates in. I don't care if you have 15 credit cards. You want to be writing your statement date and your closing date because this deteriorates whether your credit score goes up or doesn't. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys still have questions, please list them below in the comment section. I do have a credit score of 800 and this is the method I follow to help me boost my credit score. So if your credit score is currently stagnant or you're not seeing any progress or any ways, it's perfect to definitely check out this video and try this method and I guarantee you, you'll see an increase in your credit score. I hope this helps. Bye, budget babes.